Here with us, we have uh, Roman, uh, from, uh, CEO from uh, Tectelic. Uh, welcome in the studio, Roman. How are you? Very good. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Great, great, great. So uh, specifically here, we're going to talk about a new product. So, I mean, you are known for having a, a pretty wide uh, lineup of uh, all kinds of gateways addressing all kinds of different needs, but you you, you, you still found uh, the, a reason to bring out another gateway. I, I'm uh, uh, putting it here on the on the slides. It's it's this one, uh, and um, uh, why? Well, like, why did you have to bring yet another gateway? Well, that's true. We have a lot of gateways, and we have a complete portfolio of gateways. Um, and it really came down to when we spent some time with the customers over 2019 and 2020, we realized that uh, there was one product particularly that was that we were missing, and that was product that will be optimized for the enterprise application. So being at you know um, a university or enterprise or parking lot, or maybe it's a remote site somewhere in the mountains or some other applications, customer were looking for a product that is carrier grade, that is very reliable, very dependable, that is actually low cost and very easy to deploy because many of these customers do not have the technical expertise um, of a typical operator. However, they still need a product that can be deployed in a matter of minutes. Uh, uh, super interesting. And so, um, so, so what are the specific uh, features that, that did this type uh, of, of segment is asking for? And, and where, where, where do you see that this, uh, uh, yeah, what, what are the specifics in, uh, of this product? Right. So um, the, if you think about actually the carrier grade products, it's, uh, you know, lots of people discuss about carrier grade products, but the standard definition of a carrier grade product is by telecom. It is, it's products that have a very long reliability. Um, typically, we design a product that have at least <clears throat> 10 to 15 years of MTBF, or mean time between failures. Well, that's probably 100 to 150,000 hours. That will be by far the most, ex the most important element for the carrier grade products. The next element of the carrier grade products that very important is they all have to be remotely updated or upgraded because we all know deploying the product is much more expensive than actually products itself. So if somebody has to go and visit the product if once a year even, that will be substantially more expensive than the product itself. So we have to make sure that products can be maintained in the field for 10 to 15 years without a single visit to the site. So that means typically you need to upgrade or update software, firmware, um, and all those things have to be done remotely and better yet, if they're done autonomously. The other, the other important element for the care, care grade products is the fact that they have to operate over a wide range of environmental conditions. So in Canada, we get very cold winters, you know, it, and it happens typically that, that uh, when it's snowing or you have a storm, the power, you can have a power outage for maybe a few hours. What if it's very cold, then the battery, the, the products will cool themselves down. And then when you reapply power, many of them will not even start up because if they're not designed to operate or have a cold start at minus 30 degrees Celsius, they won't be able to start up. When we think about, you know, very humid environments, like our coastal zones, you have to deal with a lot of humidity, you have to deal with a lot of rain, and you also have to deal with a lot of salt. In those cases, again, you have to make sure the product is not going to corrode or you're not going to get any humidity or moisture inside the product because in some tropical regions, that's a very problematic. Mm. Um, and then the final element, I think we should really understand that when we deploy the products, we, we really have to make sure they, they will allow us evolution. The standard change every year. Laura, Laura is still evolving. So if you deploy a product that doesn't have evolution beyond two or three years, it means in two or three years you potentially have to replace it because you wouldn't be able to go with the standard. So when we build products, we make sure that they're designed to, to evolve for at least 10 years. And in particular in this case, as in other, in other cases, we made sure that these products are extremely easy to deploy. Nobody needs to have any kind of knowledge. They have to simply apply power and it will configure itself and start to operate. They are literally what we call zero maintenance. 
and that what drives the overall total cost of ownership to be very very low. Yeah. And 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 if I look at this this uh, this product, yeah, we have it now here on the on the on the on the screen. Right. Um, so so what um, I see some connectors, but um, yeah, can you tell a bit around that? Like, well, how how do I install it? Do I need to add an antenna? Is it in there or is it? it it's literally. I think the unit is. Uh, it's. Uh, I don't have it in front of me, but I remember it's a. Uh, it's about 150 millimeters wide by 178 millimeters tall and 73 or 74 millimeters deep. So it's a tiny. It's a very tiny unit. Yeah. It's full. It's fully integrated. So the lower antenna, cellular antennas, 3G, 4G, and the GPS antennas are all built in. Yeah. We provision always Cat6 modems. And the reason for that is because they have the highest availability. They support MIMO. It means you don't have to worry about the evolution of LTE networks. So they're not they're they're much more reliable. They have a longer range. You don't really need capacity, but you need you want to build, make sure the products are built for longevity. Yeah. And our GPS antennas are optimized for this deployment. Now, all interfaces, they also have ESD and the lightning protection, but the only one interface you really need to have is just power. And we can apply power over Ethernet in this product. And we also support, obviously, Ethernet backhaul. And you can see there are two other antennas mounted. This is a LoRa and cellular. They're optional. It's mm -hmm. only in the case if you're really far away from, let's say, a cellular typical network, you might want to put an external antenna to give you a better backhaul link, or if you would like to have a little bit better coverage from this gateway, then you would want to maybe attach a you know three or five or or eight dB DBI antenna, LoRa antenna. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, in ninety five percent cases, the customers we talk to, they will never have to deploy any antenna. In addition, even the mounting is actually built inside the gateway. So literally, you get the gateway, you get two screws, and you can deploy it. Ah. Uh, this uh, this sounds like sounds like an awesome product. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot. I, it really um, uh, relates to the theme of of the Things Conference of twenty twenty one that uh, the focus should be on the total cost of ownership and uh, uh, and and the time of being penny wise pound foolish is uh, is over. So uh, talking about uh, pounds and pennies, like can you already say something around the price range where we can expect it or um, uh, or well. Absolutely. So before I say the price, it's clearly going to be priced <clears throat> very aggressively. It's going to be well under $500, especially okay. in volume. Um, and this means it comes fully integrated with all, uh, you know, all antennas, all the protection. You don't need to provide anything else. No. What I would like to say is, in more so than that, it's because the savings, much significantly, much larger savings are going to come from the operations of this gateway even beyond the, actually what the upfront cost is. And I think it's definitely the time I agree with you that we as developers, we need to really focus our attention on, on real problems when we build products and not worry about what kind of features we put in the products because in many cases, many features have very little useful life yeah. and they only add the complexity and with the complexity obviously have lower reliability and product dependability. Yeah. What we really need to do is to make sure that operators or customers can benefit the most from the products that are simple to deploy, simple to operate, and they have high availability. And of course, Tectelic always builds products that have a very good RF performance, and so we'll have this product. Ah, perfect. Great, great. Then uh, thanks a lot, and then uh, we'll leave it at that. And um, uh, people can uh, find uh, more information uh, at your booth. Uh, uh, and uh, and and of course, this product will work with all the the things network and the things industries uh, uh, network servers and and uh, and products. So, uh, Roman, thanks a lot for uh, for joining, and then um, then uh, then we'll talk soon, and I'll see you on the conferencing platform. Thank you very much. As you said, this product, uh, our initial customers actually are customers who are using them um, with the with the things network uh, platform. And um, absolutely, people can go to the Tectelic web page and they can get all the information on the new Tectelic Enterprise Gateway. Perfect. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here.